What's up, beautiful ladies and handsome men? I am not sure what's true or false in this story. I take gossip, tea, rumor, and scandal from yesteryear, from online, from word of mouth, from books, and I ball it up and I tell you guys a story. This video right here, y'all, is an add-on from a much bigger video that I'm actually waiting for an ad to approve before I release. So I decided to chop this little part off and do it as a video by itself. What it do, Scandalites and Says So Squad? This is Ashley with Ashley Says So and I am back with another old Hollywood scandalous video. So this video actually came about because a lot of you guys in the comments were asking me about Jane Kennedy and Leon Isaac. And I just want to tell you guys what I found. Jane Harrison grew up in Ohio where she ended up graduating high school and then being the first African American female to win the Miss Ohio beauty pageant. Allegedly right around this time is when she ended up meeting a guy named Leon Isaac Kennedy who was a DJ. The attraction for Leon and Jane was said to be immediate so in the year 1971, they were wed. It's also alleged that both of these young people wanted a career in show business, but gossip claims that Leon's desire was much more than Jane's desire. However, it was Jane who was having an easier time to book any gigs. And of course, this is because she was beautiful. So since this uh, came easier for her, gossip claims that Leon was a big push behind his wife. He supported her. Now the messy gossip out here claims that that support was actually actually control. Apparently there have been rumors out here for years that Leon was not only a controlling spouse but that he tried to have total control over Jane's career. And there were also rumors out here that say that Leon was possibly a little bit jealous of Jane because although he had worked on several projects, Jane was said to remain the bigger star in the relationship. And there is an interview from 1979 that is titled The Other Kennedy and in it Leon is talking and he is quoted as saying, sometimes I get irritated by people calling me Jane Kennedy's husband. He said that this bothered him because he had done a lot of work in his own right and so it just seemed like people, you know, looked over his work and just, you know, they're Jane Kennedy's husband. So again, that bothered him. But he also said in that same breath that, you know, he just deals with it because his wife is the beautiful Jane Kennedy. And the fact of the matter is he certainly did have to live with it because Jane, his wife, was kicking behind and taking names, baby. By the year of 1979, the time when this interview came out, Jane Kennedy was already everywhere. She had been on Sanford and Son, The Six Million Dollar Man, Starsky and Hutch. In 1977, she had a lead role in a movie named Big Time. But it was in 1978 that she really showed the world what she was worth. And that is when she she replaced anchor Phyllis George on NFL Today. Jane's popularity was out of this world after this because allegedly she was the first black female uh, sportscaster and also she was one of the first women sportscasters, period. And although Leon had done a lot, mostly black exploitation movies, Jane was being recognized on a national scale by both white and black. And so because, once again, Jane was looked at as the star in uh, the relationship with her and Leon, this brings me back to the control part. Because, again, if we refer back to this 1979 interview, he said some things that some people might feel like our suspect. And what he said was every Sunday when Jane was actually on TV doing her anchor job for the football, he recorded all of her segments and then he would wait until she got home with him and then he would go over things that she needed to correct. You know, you're not doing this right. You need to look this way. You know, you need to speak like this. All of this good stuff. Like he basically had a list of things he would tell her to work on. And so in some ways, some people feel like this is controlling. Tell me what you feel in the comments. Now, when we get into the the whole Sunday night football anchor job that Jane had, there are rumors that pop up there. And one of the most potent rumors is that Jane Kennedy got this job because she was messing around with Muhammad Ali. But this is said to be a lie. Although Ali did help her uh, obtain the job, it was not through that way. According to the records, Jane was already in a six week trial period for the job. During that six week trial, she and Muhammad Ali met at some event and he thought she was beautiful. So beautiful that he said, I could sit here and talk to you all day. And that's exactly what he did. Their talk became a worldwide exclusive 
interview that Jane was able to bag on her own solely because her looks. I mean, this is incredible. This is something that other sports casters would kill to be able to get. Jane Kennedy gets this exclusive during a six week trial? Even after this though, the network still tried to play Jane because folks flipped on their TV one day and the beautiful face of Jane Kennedy was gone. Somebody else was sitting in her seat. Baby, the folks was upset, honey, and wanted an explanation on what was exactly going on here. Well, according to sources, Jane was either fired because the network wanted to uh, hire a white person on, or she was fired because she tried to renegotiate her contract and ask for what the network felt like was too much money. Either way it goes, she was out of the door, but Jane wasn't worried about it, honey, because she was making a lot of connections behind the scenes. But what folks didn't know is that Leon was said to be making his own connection. And one of these connections was said to be with singer Smokey Robinson. Baby say Leon and Smokey was always on the scene, honey, living very single. Also, allegedly dibbling and dabbling in drugs. It's also alleged that through Smokey Robinson, Leon was able to connect with Playboy magnet and mastermind Hugh Hefner. And this connection was not only made for pleasure, because although they said that Leon was allegedly a frequent visitor to the Playboy mansion, after he got down to business one way, he was ready to get down to business another way. And that's by convincing Hugh Hefner that his wife Jane Kennedy would bring them both a lot of money. And whatever he said convinced Hugh Hefner because by the year 1981, Jane Kennedy was on the cover of Playboy magazine. And before Jane Kennedy, there was said to be some question on if a black woman could actually sell a Playboy magazine. Well, honey, this question was answered many times over because not only did she sell out the magazine more than once, she ain't had to show not one private part to do it. Where they do that at? I would like to know where do they do that at? Folks buying an adult magazine where this woman ain't even showing no adult parts, but they still selling off the shelf. Jane's popularity was at an all time high. And also in the year 1981, she starred alongside her husband, Leon, in a movie called Body and Soul. I've never seen this movie, but I guess it was good somewhere because uh, in 1982, Jane Kennedy got a NAACP image award for. So from the outside looking in, all people can see from Jane Kennedy especially but Jane and Leon are accomplishments on top of accomplishments. They are a power couple who are in love and definitely a force to be reckoned with. But there was trouble just a brewing in paradise, honey, and this is where the tongues started wagging. In the same year that Jane and Leon were seeing all of these successes, the year of 1982, Jane and Leon suddenly called it quits and divorced out of nowhere. And most people imagine it was Jane that felt for divorce, but gossip claims that it was actually Leon who filed for divorce first. Now, I don't know exactly what happened to break them up or to cause the breakdown of their marriage, but the next thing that happened in their life certainly set up the table for people to speculate and gossip and spread rumors about it for years to come. And that is because not even a year after their divorce, somebody got a VHS style videotape, honey, and probably thought it was a movie that they forgot to return to movie gallery. Baby, them folks put that tape and that dog on VCR, child, all they saw was boosting TT everywhere. And I'm being funny about it, but in all reality, uh, gossip claims that the tape started off with Jane and Leon in front of the camera looking like they were doing some modeling poses or something. Baby say, next thing you know, Leon took Jane by the hand and led her to the couch. And child started laying all kind of pipes from front, back, side to side, up underneath. And if you hadn't gotten what I'm trying to say, fell out yet, this tape was a sex tape that featured Jane Kennedy and Leon. And y'all, I can't lie to y'all, I actually was going to watch the tape for my research because I have to do deep research. That's just is what it is. So anyways, like I said, I was gonna try to be grown and watch. And before I could even click play, the background looked so 80-ish and so old fashioned. I, could, I couldn't bring myself to do it. And I'm grown, so I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I've never watched adult content before. But even so, it just felt like this was gonna be wrong. Because it just seemed like I was gonna be like too young for what was going on. And whoop, child. Glory be, the mess is on me. Because once I started reading the gossip blogs, I was so glad 
that I never clicked play. Honey? The stuff they say happened in that video, it just threw me way off. And I'm definitely not going to spell it out for you here. I'm just not going to do it. But I can say that somebody hand turned into a fist. That's all I can say. You know, if you want to do deeper research on your own, that's up to you. Somebody hands turned into a fist. Well, anyways, to get back to the main story, soon after Jane and Leon's divorce, this uh, tape was released to the public. Immediately, the public was looking for somebody to blame. And unfortunately, Leon Isaac Kennedy got that blame because a lot of malicious rumors started to spread that said that he was the one to release that tape, I guess in order to ruin uh, Jane's career or get back at her in some way. But as far as I saw with my research, I didn't see anything that said that there was a fact in this. As a matter of fact, I saw more things saying that Leon did not not release this tape. There was also another theory or alleged rumor going around. Since Jane had just done Playboy the year before, Jane and Leon maybe had considered going even further with the whole Playboy thing. And so I don't know if there's any truth to that, but you know, some people speculated that. What I do know is that the official story that was put out, and that story says that somebody came in and robbed Jane and Leon's house and they took the tape and then for some reason after the divorce, they just released the tape to the public. Whoever this person was, it does seem like they were trying to ruin probably not only Jane's career, but Leon's career as well. Their careers did suffer a bit, but from the looks of it, Jane Kennedy was content to have a plan to wait out the storm for a few years, and then when people came to their senses and realized that yes, these people's uh, tape tag got released, but this was a married couple at home doing what married couples do. Everybody may not film themselves but it's a lot of married couples who do film themselves so allegedly Jane kind of wanted to disappear into the background until Americans came to their senses and was ready to see her again so what she did was kind of get a low profile and then she started doing exercise tapes to uh, keep money coming in for her and although with her moving to the background some people must have figured that Jane's life was falling apart her life was really actually coming together because not only was she doing the these uh, exercise tapes. She also had found a man who loved her and whom she loved very deeply and this guy's name was Bill Overton. Gossip claims they started a relationship in 1985 and Jane just started chilling with her new life until she was ready to break out on the uh, big screen again. But rumor has it that she ended up becoming very, very ill with severe stomach pains and found out that she had endometriosis. For a while, Jane and Bill were concerned that she couldn't have children, but child, this concern was over in a snap real quick. Because again, gossip claims they got together in the beginning of 1985, well, by uh, March or April of 1985, gossip claims that Jane was pregnant. And so because of this, and also because they loved each other, she and Bill Overton ended up getting married in May of 1985 and welcoming their daughter November of that same year. But even with Jane and Bill's relationship and marriage, they still could not escape gossip because there were some people out here that felt like uh, Bill Overton had cheated on his wife Kathleen Bradley with uh, Jane. Kennedy. But from what I saw, Bill and Kathleen Bradley divorced in the year of 1984. Now, he probably moved on quickly to Jane, but that doesn't mean that they were already messing around. Once again, tell me what y'all think. Leave your uh, thoughts and opinions in the comments. I can say that once Jane and Bill's first child was born, uh, Jane ended up kind of stepping away from show business for good. She decided to raise a family with her husband. She has definitely made some appearances since then, and she still is a beautiful woman but like I said she chooses to live her life largely um, out of the spotlight. As for Leon Isaac Kennedy he chose to go a different path in life. He cleaned up whatever mess he had going on in his life and he ended up becoming part of the ministry. Uh, some gossip even claims that he is a pastor now. So may both Jane and Leon continue to do what they do more power to them. This is the end of the old Hollywood scandalous tale of Jane Kennedy and Leon Isaac's relationship. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe and like the video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.